Welcome to Doc's Daily Dose for Dads, prescribed by Dr. Harrison. Yesterday was Easter, and I had a blast. Uh, started off with the kids and good meal with the family and ended with some fun. Uh, one of my good buddies came over. All the family was here. I mean, it was a great time. And I got to do a video yesterday with my oldest son, Averin. And I was so proud of him. Uh, he looked so handsome. He spoke so well. He was so articulate. He shared with me his actual true feelings about what he likes and what he wishes we did more. And I was just really grateful and appreciative that he was willing to jump in and that, you know, uh, he just, he made me proud. He made me very, very proud. Um, now, when I got done with that, I actually got a few emails and some comments asking about our hangouts. One of the things he said that he loves that we do is that we have our hangout time and that he wished we did it more. Now, a lot of people were saying, well, I mean, I hang out with my kid all the time. You know, we're at the house, we're, you know, doing whatever. And that's not what the hangout is. Our hangout is something very, very specific. So I wanted to come on today to share with you guys my advice for that hangout. Now, this advice is for anybody with kids, but especially if you have more than one. And what I do is every weekend, each one of the kids gets a specific special hangout time with me where it's just me and that one individual kid. So if there's four weekends in a month, the first weekend is with Averin and we go hang out for three to three and a half hours. Second weekend is Alum, do the same thing. Third weekend is Adris, again, another three, three and a half hours on a Saturday. And then the fourth weekend, me and my wife try to go do something for date night. Now you might be asking yourself, how in the world do you pull that off? Where do you get the time to do it? Well, I make the time, whether that be waking up earlier or getting a lot more work done on Friday or maybe doing a little extra work on Sunday after they go to sleep, whatever it may be to make that happen. Now, I'll be honest, there are times when it just can't happen. For example, they just left basketball season and Saturday, we had basketball from like 8.30 in the morning till one in the afternoon. Then at that point, it was kind of hard because everyone's tired, everybody just wants to kind of go home. And so basketball time was kind of the hangout. But we've gotten back to it, and it's because I really wanna make sure that they get this. So in, in our hangouts, we don't do the same thing with each kid. You know, I don't go ride bikes with Averin on weekend one, ride bikes with Alum on weekend two, and then weekend three with Aegis, the same thing. I let them decide if they know what they want to do during the hangout. If they can't or they've asked for something outlandish, like, let's go to Great Wolf Lodge. You know, we can't do that. I'll come up with fun little things for them to do, whether that be art and creative stuff or maybe taking a bike ride or going and checking out one of their favorite stores, or just sitting around out back in the garage, just me and that kid, while the other ones aren't allowed to be a part of that hangout. Now, why do I do this? One, I get to find out about their personal interests a little bit more in detail because there's that one-on-one -on -one attention. Two, I learn more about them. I mean, with three kids, there's constant movement constant noise, right? It's hard to keep track of what everyone's doing and what everyone likes. But in this hangout time, I get to have that undivided attention with them. Um, think about when your wife tells you, we need a date night. I know we're doing family stuff, but we need some us time, some one-on-one -on -one time. Your kids need that too right? You don't know, they don't always want to be put in the context of in relation to siblings. We all just roll together as siblings everywhere. I never get to do anything for myself. I'm never alone with just me and dad. Your son will love it. Absolutely love it. You know, you also get to see some unique stuff. What one kid likes, the other one you thought might like as well, but he really doesn't. He just follows along because we're always in a group. What one kid excels at, maybe the other one needs a little more practice in, or maybe they don't like it at all and they excel in something completely different. 
And it forces you to learn about these different things. The other part of it I really like is they will, at this point, when you are in that one-on-one -on -one time, usually midway through the hangout, about an hour and a half in, they'll start to share any issues they're having, whether that be maybe trouble at school, trouble with their brothers, maybe a girl they like, maybe you know a friend that is no longer their friend, maybe there's something they're upset about you know, that pertains to you or mom. This is the time that it'll come out because they don't have to worry about everything else and they're just there with dad. So what I've learned about each one of my kids in doing this, I've learned my oldest, he doesn't really care what we do. As long as it's something that feels adult, right? Because he's the oldest, he likes that. And as long as it's consistent and it happens on his Saturday every month. I also know that he's most likely to share an issue with me during this time. The other two will tell me what's wrong at any point, any time in front of anybody. But with my oldest, it has to be where no one else is around. And if he wants to get choked up and nervous or trembly voice or tear up a little bit, he can because he doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of other people. This is the time he shares that stuff with me. And I, you can't take that for granted. I wouldn't change that for the world. And I would have never known and he would have never opened up to me had I not done these hangouts with him. My middle one, he just wants to do something fun. He wants to laugh, he wants to run around, ask a million questions. He's all about having fun, right? That's it. As long as we are engaged in something at least semi-athletic with movement and there's a lot of laughter, he's happy as can be. And my youngest, well, I've learned some very unique interests about him. One, he's totally into music and cars. Soon as we say it's hangout time, he's out the door taking his car seat to put it in shotgun because he wants to ride in the front, right? The other thing is he really likes cooking. He could sit and play pretend cooking all day, which lets me know he might have a future as a chef. All this stuff comes out because I spend that separate time with them, that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Now, you might get that stuff over a long period of time, even if you're not doing the hangouts, but it comes faster when you do have those hangouts, those one-on-one -on -one moments with them. So don't take that for granted. Make sure that you're giving your kids daddy time and not daddy time with all of them, but for each individual unique kid. Learn how they roll, right? I roll a different way with each of them. They all roll a different way than each other. They're different people. And we can't lump them into one sum of brothers. They'll always be brothers, but they're their own individual people first. Now, if you can't make time for every Saturday for a three and a half hour block, I understand. It's a lot. It does require me to do extra work just to make that happen. But you can find some time somewhere, even if it's 30 minutes every week or an hour every other week. Turn off that one TV show or DVR it and watch it later. Set up the time with your kid for that one on one. They need it because they need you and they love you and they want that one on one with you. So that's Doc's Daily Dose for Dads today. Make sure to check out all of our social media at RebirthBX. Hit the website, RebirthBX.com. Don't forget to hashtag Doc's Daily Dose for Dads or hashtag 4D. I'll be back to you tomorrow with some more great advice.